I'm Charlie Nardozzi, and this is the Connecticut Garden Journal. It happens every spring. I look where the hardy hibiscus is supposed to be growing, and I see nothing. The bulbs are blooming, the spring perennials are flowering, but no signs of our hibiscus. Instead of panicking, though, I've learned to be patient. I know hardy hibiscus takes its time in spring. While hardy hibiscus is late to emerge, it makes up for lost time in July and August. With the hot, humid weather, the plant explodes into growth, reaching three to five feet tall, and it starts flowering. I'm not talking about dainty black-eyed Susan-type flowers. I'm talking about eight to ten inch diameter round discs of color. The flower show goes on for weeks, and I guarantee you that visitors to your garden will be amazed. Hardy hibiscus is related to the tropical hibiscus shrub you may have seen in warmer climates such as Florida and Texas, but it's hardy to zone 5. It grows into a large perennial, flowers and colors ranging from white to deep burgundy, and some varieties such as Copper King have burgundy colored foliage too. The Luna series has large flowers in white, red, or pink depending upon the selection. It's a great late summer flower to add pop to your flower garden. Hardy hibiscus grows best on well-drained, moist soil. It likes moisture, so keep it well watered if you have a summer drought. It flowers best in full sun. Come fall, the plant dies back to the ground with a frost. It's a low-maintenance perennial only requiring compost in spring for fertilizer. Insects, diseases, and animals seem to leave it alone. Next week on the Connecticut Garden Journal, I'll be talking about Corella. Until then, I'll be seeing you in the garden.